Not so very long ago, and not so very far away, in a little town, in a little corner of the world, there lived a little girl named Amanda. Amanda was no different than any other little girl. She wasn't big, she wasn't small, she wasn't fast, she wasn't slow. She did little girl things in little girl ways. Like most little girls, Amanda managed to find a little trouble to get into now and then. But when all was said and done, Amanda was a good girl. She was kind, she was generous, and she was happy. That is, she had always been happy before, but today, today was different. Today was special. Today was Christmas Eve. And today, Amanda was not happy at all. Like every other little girl, Amanda always loved Christmas. Every year on Thanksgiving Day, when the big meal was finished and while everyone else was relaxing and digesting, Amanda would bring all the Christmas decorations down from the attic and start decorating the house. For Amanda, the Christmas season had officially begun. She could barely stand the excitement. Amanda and her friends spent every afternoon walking through the streets of town to admire the Christmas decorations and see all the wonderful new toys in the shop windows. She saved up her money all year long so she could buy nice presents for all her family and friends. She would take each one home and wrap it with loving care. She helped her parents and sister decorate the tree, always making sure that the angel at the top was positioned just perfectly. She helped her mom in the kitchen as she baked the most amazing smelling cookies and cakes and pies which they would serve to the visitors who always came calling. On Sunday afternoons, Amanda and her friends would gather at the gazebo and sing Christmas carols to the people who would pass by. Needless to say, every year, Amanda overflowed with the Christmas spirit. Every year, except this year. This year, something was wrong. Something was missing. And it didn't take long for Amanda's friends to notice. Amanda? Is something wrong? Hey, sis. Come on, Amanda. The hardware store just got a new shipment of sleds. Let's go check them out. Yeah. yeah! Nah, you guys can go ahead. What's the matter? Why are you so sad? Tomorrow is Christmas Day! You wouldn't understand, Susie. Well, I might. Try me. Hey, what are y'all doing here? What do you want, Brian? Dinner's ready, and Mom and Dad are looking for you. You and the squirt better get home. We'll be there, okay? Whatever. Come on, Amanda. Talk to me. You've been moping for weeks. It's not like you. Mom and Dad are worried, and so am I. Well, you know me. Christmas is my favorite time of the whole year, right? Nobody loves Christmas more than me. Yeah, you're like the queen of Christmas. Not anymore, Carl. Why not? Amanda? What 
is it? I don't know, but this year, I just, I just don't have the Christmas spirit. <gasps> that Christmas spirit? What's wrong with you? Jane, there is nothing wrong with her. Oh yes, there is. I've tried everything. Decorated the house and the tree. Baked cookies with mom, went caroling. Everything. But I'm just not feeling it, you know? Man, you need a doctor. Poor shrink. She needs to go to the emergency room and fast. She does not need a doctor. Do you know why? You know what this means, right? It means, like, you've lost Christmas. <gasps> oh no, Rachel, don't say that. You lost Christmas? Yeah, I've heard about it. Kids get to a certain age and all of a sudden, poof, Christmas is just gone. Well, you don't really lose Christmas. I mean, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just different. Uh-uh. You lose it and you never get it back. Never. I guess Rachel was right. I really have lost Christmas. Lost Christmas? Amanda, you can't be serious. Who are you and how do you know my name? Well, it's a pretty small town. I mean, everyone knows everyone here. That's what I love about this place. Well, I've never seen you here before. Really? Well, that's weird. I've been here a really long time. In fact, I don't think I could ever leave it. I'm Angel. It's nice to meet you, Amanda. Nice to meet you too, Angel. Now, what's this I hear about you lost Christmas? Well, that's what Rachel says, and she must be right. I can't feel the Christmas spirit anymore. The Christmas spirit. I see. Tell me something, Amanda. What does Christmas mean to you? Well, a lot of things. I guess mostly about giving nice presents to my family and friends to show them how much I love them. Now that's interesting. Most of the time when I ask a kid that question, their answer is about the gifts they're going to get for Christmas. Not many are like you, focusing on the gifts they're going to give for Christmas. I think you've got a lot of wisdom going on up in there. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Christmas isn't about giving presents at all. What? It's not about giving presents? I mean, that's like the most important thing. Now, I know it seems that way, and heaven knows there are a lot of people who have made it that way. But the real Christmas, the true Christmas, is actually about receiving a gift. Just one gift but it's the most important gift that anyone could ever receive. Oh, you mean Jesus. I know. He was born in a manger and all the wise men gave him gifts. I know all of that. You know the story, but Amanda, I don't think you understand it yet. You see, Jesus wasn't just some baby born in a manger. Jesus was a gift. He's a gift from God. And he's not just a gift for people who love him. He's a gift for us all people, all over the world. Really? Think about that, Amanda. Over 2,000 years ago, God gave you a Christmas gift. He did? Of course, he gave you Jesus. He gave you the gift of his only son. And Amanda, Jesus is such a special gift. He's the gift that no one has ever deserved. He's the gift that we can't give to ourselves, and he's the gift that no one can repay. And God gave that gift to you. Wow. All you have to do is believe in Jesus and trust him, and you and God will be like this. 
Amanda, there is no gift that anyone could ever give you that will be more wonderful than the gift of Jesus. And there's no more important gift that you can give to others than to tell them about him and to let them see him living through your life. I've never thought about it that way. You see, Amanda, the Christmas spirit isn't about the decorations and the Christmas carols or the cookies, even though the cookies are delicious. It's not even about the presents that you can buy to give to your family and friends. The true Christmas is about giving to someone that you don't know, giving to someone that may not love you or even like you. And it's about giving them something that they can't get for themselves, like giving food or clothes to someone who is poor or homeless, or reading to someone who's blind, or just being friends with someone who's lonely. But most of all, it's about sharing Jesus with those that are lost and need him the most. I know I could help the soup kitchen at our church. And I've got a lot of old toys I don't even play with. Heck, I have my allowance saved up. I could buy them some new toys. Those are excellent ideas. I've got a lot of old clothes I don't even wear. I'll bet some kid would be glad to have them. And old lady Wilson, I, I mean, <laughs> Miss Wilson. She never gets out of the house anymore. I could run some errands for her. Now you're talking. Hey, where are you going? I've got to go. I've got a lot to do. Tomorrow's Christmas, you know. Well, go get them, girl. Merry Christmas, Amanda. Merry Christmas, Angel. Merry Christmas. <sighs> well, Lord, how'd I do? Oh 